Hey everyone, it is a cold, cold day here in Toronto, so I am cozying up and I'm going to be filming my makeup inventory today. It's been over a year since my last one. I last did my makeup inventory in November 2018, so it is time to count up all of my makeup and see where I'm at. I filmed my very first makeup inventory in 2014, and since then there have been huge changes to my collection. Not so much in recent years, but if you compare it back to my very first makeup inventory I've taken a lot of strides to reduce my collection and pretty much only keep the products that I am reaching for or that I plan to use in the future that being said you will see some additions to my collection because I did purchase a few things in Japan namely I purchased a lot of mascara I stocked up on my favorite one I'm sure there are other little things that I'm gonna ramble on about in this video so let's just go ahead and jump right into the counting footage I have 12 lipsticks remaining in my collection these don't include liquid lipsticks I usually usually count them under lip gloss for whatever reason. I think it's just because the packaging looks like lip gloss. These are my two newest products by Bite Beauty and you may recognize them from Sephora's birthday gift. So that's how old my newest products are. But I did take a whiff of each of these products before recording this clip and they seem perfectly fine. So I'm just going to hang on to them for the time being. There was really only one that I was iffy about, maybe two. I thought about decluttering this red lipstick by Chanel, but it's the only red lipstick I have left in my collection. Quite a pretty blue leaning red, so I think I'll hang on to it for the time being, yet another year. I also thought about decluttering one of these Giorgio Armani ones, the darker shade, which I believe is this one. This one's a more like nudey color, a pink nude that's really pretty. I haven't really been wearing dark shades, but um, I think I'll hang on to this one for now because I do remember quite loving it when I did wear it in the past and as well it still smells fine so 12 lipsticks in my collection now. Here are my lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. I've got 24 left in my collection and I really haven't dug into these in any significant way so I'll really need to get on that. I have had these lip glosses for ages. I'm going to keep them in my collection and try to work through them. I'm gonna to try to do that systematically. Try one and if I don't like it, get rid of it right away. If I do like it, I'll use it for maybe three months or so and then move on to the next one. I've said this in the past but I am going to start and I'm going to start today. I only have two lip liners left in my collection. This is a clear one. It's called No Bleeding Lips and I got it in a swap ages and ages ago. It's basically a lip liner that you use before putting on a bright lippy so that the lippy doesn't bleed into your lip lines. I don't use this very often because I don't really wear dark colors, but since I still kept a couple of dark shades in my collection, I'm gonna hang on to this for the time being. This is a really beautiful lip liner. I really should start using it. It's also still very, very creamy. If you're curious as to what this is, this is by Too Faced. It's the Perfect Lips Lip Liner in the shade Perfect Spice. It is so pretty, and even though I've had it a really long time, it's still very, very very creamy and beautiful. If you want to see me wearing this product as well as go through my lip glosses, the best place for that would probably be on my vlog channel. I'm going to try to keep track of them there on authenticity. Here are the lip balms I have remaining in my collection. Four of these are new to me, namely these ones here. These two are Atomy products that I just purchased last fall, and then these two products I picked up in Japan. This one you probably haven't seen either. This is actually a hand-me-down from Hubby. So as you guys may know, Hubby likes to use products up until a certain point and then he kind of forgets about them and he never finishes them off. There's only a little bit of this product left, so I've been trying to finish it up. But everything else I believe is um, stuff you've seen before. The only new products that I haven't dug into are this one here by Cheeky Monkey and also this one here by Lippy Girl, which is a lip shimmer stick. I don't know if I'm gonna like either of these products so when I do open them and try them if I don't like them I'm just gonna go ahead and toss them but everything else namely these eight products I use on a regular basis. I keep a few in my makeup bag, I keep one by my nightstand, I keep a couple at my desk, I keep one in the washroom, that sort of thing. Actually in the washroom I just keep plain old Vaseline and I think I still do have two little tubes or containers of Vaseline that I'm using right now but I don't count those in these videos for whatever reason so I'm just staying consistent with that approach. Those are just plain old Vaseline not the lip therapy so in this video I'm just showing all of my actual lip balms and I have 12 of them. This is the only facial primer I have remaining in my collection and it is a little mini cute little mini professional last one in my collection and 
and I won't be buying this type of product going forward. I actually no longer use eyeshadow primer or face primer. In terms of foundations and BB creams, I only have one left in my collection and this is it. This is by Atomy. It's a 40 milliliter bottle of BB cream. It's one shade. I really like it. It's only $10. I don't use foundation or BB cream on a daily basis anymore, so I think this will last me quite some time. Here are my correctors, concealers, and powders. I don't use all over face powders anymore. Well, I have this one, but I don't use it all over my face. Instead, I use this as my spot concealer for all of the pimples that I'm getting, all of that hormonal acne. So I will put some of this on to cover the shininess and the redness, but it's pretty much a um, kind of like translucent powder anyway. It does work rather well, but it doesn't provide that that much coverage. This is by Can Make, and it's in the shade... MB. It comes with a little like applicator sponge as well, but I find I just use a little makeup brush and dot that onto my pimples. I haven't been using these liquid concealers very much at all, so this shape tape is very, very old. I bought this at Ulta in Buffalo on Boxing Day years ago. Maybe some of you remember that if you watch my vlogs, but I use this very rarely and also very sparingly. So I still have this as well as this, which I haven't even dug into yet. This is a very old product and I am nearly done. Being so close to being done this product is actually why I picked up the Can Make powder, but there is only a very tiny bit left. You probably can't even see it in the video. I'm very happy to be almost done this, but at the same time, this worked very well for uh, my breakouts. The blush situation hasn't really changed a whole lot. I did finish one, which I am super happy about because that's the one from Sisley that hubby bought me way back when. He actually forgot he purchased that for me, but I'm so happy that was the one I finished. I still have 17 blushes in my collection, way more than enough for my lifetime. There are a couple that are still unopened and untried, namely this one and I believe this Tarte blush. Everything else I have dug into and I do enjoy using them so I'm going to hang on to them for the time being. Right now I'm working on this one which is a blush I picked up a long long time ago by Etude House. It is a beautiful shade. I started using it when we went to Japan and I just continued because it's such a beautiful color. This is the only bronzer that's left in my collection. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and it's a little one. It's only 2.5 grams, but it seems to be lasting quite a long time. I've been trying to use this on the daily to give myself some color and to, of course, use it up. I used to really like the scent when I first got it, but one day I was putting on the bronzer and I guess I had my mouth open and a little bit of it went into my mouth and it was sweet. You guys know how I don't like sweet lip products. Sweet bronzers are no exception. Ever since I tasted it, I've been turned off by the scent. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna finish this up or just call it a day and pick up something new. These are my highlighters and illuminators. I have eight remaining in my collection, including this one, which is a palette, but I'm nearly done, so close to being done. I've been using this every day as well just to get through it. This is, of course, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I also have these other ones, although I'm trying to move away from powder highlighters. So once I'm done this one, I won't be purchasing any others. This cozy tint I'd say is more like a blush, but I have it in with my highlighters for whatever reason and I'm gonna try to see if I included it as blush in previous years or in the highlighter area. These are my eyeshadow palettes with 10 or more shades. I have the same six remaining in my collection. Most recently, I think I was using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna switch that out today. This is how I've done with it. I've hit pan on two shades, but everything else is almost pretty much brand new. But I have dipped into all of these and they're in various stages of completion. I think the naked one is the one where I haven't dipped into it very much at all. So maybe I'll try to make a bigger dent in this one at some point during the year. But I'm going to be keeping all six of these palettes in my collection for the time being. Here are the small eyeshadow palettes I have left in my collection. These have nine or fewer shades. I've dipped into all of these except for this one here. And this is the palette I'm actually going to be using next. This is, of course, the Naked Basics palette number two and I think I've only swatched this palette. It is pretty pristine. So I'm going to be working on this for the next little while and setting aside my other palettes. 
I have downsized this collection quite a bit. There were a few smaller palettes that I wasn't reaching for, so I've gone ahead and said goodbye to those. I'm gonna further assess this year whether or not I reach for these palettes, if I still like them, if there's something I wanna keep in my collection, and if not, I'll let them go as well. I have seven single eyeshadows left in my collection. This one, I'm actually almost done, but knowing the shadow and how long I've been working on it, it's probably gonna last at least another year or so. An eyeshadow that my friend gave me for one of our Christmas exchanges Changes, and I'm really happy to be getting through that. I also recently finished a ColourPop eyeshadow that my sister gave me. That was a beautiful matte brown shade that was like my eyelid but better in terms of the color. It did start to get a little bit dry at the end so I had to scrape at it a little bit but I was so happy when I was done. I always love finishing products that people gift to me. I'm really pleased that I only have eight eyeliners left in my collection. This used to be an area where I had a lot of product even though I don't wear eyeliner a whole lot but I'm very happy with my collection as it stands now. Since my last makeup inventory, I was able to finish one or two eyeliners and one had dried out so I ended up tossing it because it was really painful to try to apply onto the eye. But these all seem um, still pretty pigmented and still very usable so I'm going to continue at it and see if I can get through some of them. My mascara collection ballooned a little bit because I did stock up on my favorite mascara when we were in Japan just recently. It is, of course, the Heroin Make Mascara. I have two of the Volume and Curl and two of the Long and Curl. I'm currently using this Long and Curl mascara, which you can probably tell is very old because the packaging is different. I've also dipped into this mascara, which is a Marc Jacobs Mini. I don't use it all the time, and I certainly don't need it with the Heroin Make, but I did want to use it up, which is why I dug into it, and it does tend to give my lashes a little bit more volume and makes them look um, fuller than just the heroin make long and curl alone. I also have this product which I'm going to try to dip into very shortly. This is a very old sample from a very old beauty box. I have four brow products left in my collection and I'm pretty thrilled that I'm almost done the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. This is in medium brown and I find it's the perfect shade for how I like my eyebrows to look. I also still have two of the Anastasia Brow Wiz which are lasting forever because I tend to only use these when I go on vacation and I don't travel as much as I used to. So once these are done I may not repurchase them instead I may just stick to brow powder and then in terms of the Glossier Boy Brow, I find this isn't enough pigment for my brows on their own because my brows are so sparse. So if I had a thicker brow, I would really love this product as well as the Anastasia Brow Gel. But because I need more coverage, I do need a brow powder and I don't think I'll be um, repurchasing this type of product going forward either. I have 21 eye brushes left in my collection. Nothing too much to say about these except that I still use them very regularly or most of them anyway so I'm going to be hanging on to all of them. I have one lip brush left in my collection and I probably won't be hanging on to this for very much longer. The other three that I was using to clean my Invisalign aligners I've already let go of because they were getting pretty grungy and this one I don't use very often anymore because I very rarely wear lip products where I would need a lip brush. I have 10 face brushes left in my collection and I do reach for all of these, some more than others of course, but they are all in my regular rotation. My collection of beauty sponges has also grown since the last time I recorded a beauty inventory. When hubby and I were in Japan, I decided to buy one of the Daiso beauty sponges and I gave it a try and I really liked it. For the value, I thought it was worth it to stock up a little bit so I wouldn't have to repurchase the beauty blender. I haven't been having the best luck with beauty blender. The tip broke off this one as well, so I was looking for an alternative that was less expensive and I found it. However, stocking up probably wasn't the best thing in hindsight because I no longer use foundation and BB cream every day anymore. So it's going to take me quite some time to go through um, five beauty sponges. Here are the nail polish I have remaining in my collection. I have 38 of them. This is another area where I've really been able to downsize my collection over the years and I am very, very happy with what I have remaining. These are the three full-size fragrances I have remaining in my collection. Very excited about that. This one here is just a 30 milliliter bottle and it is about more than halfway done. Here are my solid perfume sticks. I haven't gone through these at all. I can't remember the last time I've used them, but I still love this sort of product. They are quite strong in terms of scent, but I find they don't trigger my allergies as much as the perfume sprays. So I will continue to try to use these up, even though I tend to forget. I still have 16, which I believe is the same as the last inventory a year ago. I'm doing so well with sample and mini perfume 
perfumes. This is all I have left. I'm so happy about that. I feel like I used to have hundreds and now I only have 11. So I'm slowly making my way through these and I tend to spritz them in the bath. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one though. It's a roll-on perfume oil, so it's a little bit different from the rest. Maybe I will try to use it and see how I feel and if I don't like it, I'll just go ahead and toss it. I have two hair perfumes left in my collection and truth be told, I don't really use these very often because um, so many people have scent allergies these days and I'm trying to be really sensitive of that. Because I don't wear fragrance regularly, I find I'm a lot more sensitive myself. So to be quite honest, these are also getting to be a bit strong for me, but I still do love both of these scents. This is my favorite part of my beauty inventory when I go ahead and input the numbers into my spreadsheet and see all of the progress since September 28th, 2014. This current beauty inventory was recorded on January 17th, 2020. Let's go ahead and input the results. I went way down in the lipstick category, which is really interesting to me. I didn't remember at the time going through my collection and paring it down, but I guess I did the Libya Day Challenge and I suppose I let go of more than half of what I had last year. So I'm very, very happy with this number. I'm very close to my ideal numbers actually. Maybe I'll unhide those as well so you can see um, what I came up with. My revised ideal number was 10 for lipstick and I'm so close to that. I'm still way up in terms of lip gloss and lip balm, but I'm okay with that because I have a plan to get through my lip gloss this year and lip balm I always do use up. Now going into face products. I am doing very, very well here as well. I did purchase a powder, which I showed in my inventory that I'm using as a concealer. So that's why this is zero and this is now four. The categories of blush and highlighter illuminator are definitely the ones that stand out the most. Moving on to eye makeup. I think I'm doing very well here as well. I did use up one eyeshadow and I'm not sure why it's still showing seven. I feel like I didn't get any new ones, so I'd have to look back at last year's footage to see what happened there. Compared to my ideal numbers, I'm still pretty high in all of the different categories, but I mean, I'm below double digits, so I'm very happy with this progress as well. Moving on to beauty tools, we didn't see much movement in this area. I think we're pretty much exactly the same as last year. I did see an increase in the beauty blender category, which I will now call beauty sponges. Nail polish is pretty much exactly as it was last year. I have a very vague recollection that I let one go, but I can't remember which one it was and I don't remember the reason. I'm almost double my ideal as of 2017, but compared to what I had before, I mean, I'm very happy with 38 right now. The last category is perfume and I think I'm doing great here as well. I was right about my solid perfume sticks. I still have um, the same number as last year, but everything else is looking a lot more pared down. I'm very happy with where I am in terms of perfume samples and minis. And now let's go ahead and total these guys up. So there's been a lot of progress, so not including perfume. I used to be at 1,241 products in 2014 and now I am down to 200. I mean, that still sounds like a lot, but I'm working through my collection. I'm not really buying too many things that are new and everything that I have, I do plan to either use up or um, test out and discard if um, it's not to my liking. As well, a lot of my lip products are very old, so I don't see myself um, really hanging on to them for that much longer. I do want to use up a lot of the lip glosses and such, or at least try them out, but the lipsticks, I mean, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to some of them pretty soon because they're... Um, like three, four, five, six years old. But overall, I am super, super happy with my progress. I'm still, I mean, double my ideal numbers, but um, I'm getting there slowly but surely. That is it for my makeup inventory. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you do an inventory of your makeup products and if so, how you've been doing with your collection. Thank you again so much for watching this video. I'll be back very soon with another one. Until then, please take care and bye for now.